Hey guys, it's Brie. So it is the 20th of November today and I have, um, today is Friday and it's supposed to be a video day. And I was just thinking I haven't done a video and so it's a lot, you can probably hear in the background, I'm running a bath because I need to wash my hair. And I just took my underwear off and realized, ah, I've started my period and I have been cramping. I've got these kind of dull aches down here now and I'm thinking, ugh, like, because I thought my period's due tomorrow, basically. And I, well, today, tomorrow kind of thing. And I was thinking, well, I expect to see it tonight, or at least tomorrow, and I've been on and off cramping, not all day, but you know, really minor for the last couple of days, for little bits. But I've been taking all the stuff I was supposed to be taking, and um, yeah, there's several, and I've, basically I've been really gassy today, that's the thing I've had, really, really gassy. And I've been thinking, well, like, is my period gonna start or something? And the answer is yes. As of right now, it's not too painful, but I'm not counting on that staying because last month I said this, I was like, oh my god, I started my period, I can't feel any pain or anything, but no, like, then it really hit it and I had it really quite bad last time. Tomorrow I'm supposed to be going up to see my cousins and actually my eldest cousin, who's a girl who I think is nine, she's just started to get into period stuff, so I'm going to take some cloth pads up and make some with her and hopefully that'll be nice. I don't know if their parents will allow them to be on camera though, so I'll have to ask their permission for that, but it might just be me vlogging the day. Um, so yeah, I'll vlog kind of a bit tonight and then a bit tomorrow and I'll put them together and I'll just give this puts me up a bit later than I usually would on a Friday, but yeah. Um, currently, that's what's up. Start of my period. Kind of painful, kind of gassy. Just had food tonight and I'll, I'll, I'll update you after my bath and after my shower. <laughs> so as you can tell, I just got out of the shower, but I just wanted to turn the camera on quickly because I'm trying out my, um, I got sent some Thinks underwear by the company and um, I've got the hip hugger ones, which are supposedly the heaviest, so I'll just show you. So I've got the um, hip hugger style on, I think that's what these ones are. And these are supposedly period panties, so they're supposed to um, hold your flow without you needing to wear a pad, which I think is really good. You can kind of see I'm a little bit bloated. It's perfectly normal when you're in your period to get a bit bloated here, but I can definitely feel it. Um, but that's what they what they look like. They're just the black ones, which I think are good. But the other thing that's good about this is that they come in um, tan. So I figured if these work, I might get a pair of um, tan knickers that I could wear to dancing because they would blend in under the, uh, the lid side. And I got the hip hugger ones because these ones go cut like low across the bum as opposed to really high, cheeky cut, I think they're called. I think the next one up is the cheeky. And I hate that kind of cut. I like it to be Brazilian underwear, <laughs> like go with a hole on my bum. And this has built in um, absorbency in it. It's supposed to hold two tampons worth and be a heavy day. And this is my heaviest day, so we'll see. But I've been getting a lot of questions about things underwear, so I thought I'd say I'm trying it out this month. So it's pretty much on the dot of 11 right now, and I'm so tired. But I can't go to sleep because before I go to sleep, I have to take some more medicine or I could wake up in pain and that's the worst thing for me. My body doesn't wake me up until I'm in a lot of pain and then it takes about 10, well, probably more like 15 to 20 minutes for neurofen or for paracetamol or whatever pain, med pain medication I take to actually kick in to st start having an effect. It takes a full hour before it's completely relieved me of the symptoms and just so I have to take pain meds as close to like when I want to go to sleep as possible and I was really tired tonight, so if I had had my way, I probably would have gone to sleep around 10.30. But I have to wait till 11.30, because I, I don't know exactly what time I took my Neurofen, but I'm pretty sure it was around 9.30ish, between 9.30 and 9.45. So I'm going to take uh, two paracetamols at um, 11.30, so that then I can go to sleep hopefully after that, and I should have enough meds in my system to keep me going. I'm not going to lie, it was kind of bad before, um... It just makes me nervous more than anything else because I just get worried when I'm in pain, if that makes sense. Um, I'm quite I've quite good because I've formed a close, well, not that close, but I know my neighbours quite well now. So I could, if, I, if something really went wrong, I know in my head, like, I could go and bang on the door and say, hey, could you help me out? Um, or And I've got my phone right by my bed, like, I've put it in a place where I know it is. So I can always ring my parents because the ha house phone's always on, even if I can't get hold of my mum. And they don't live far away, it's about a 10 minute drive at this time of night. So if something were to happen, not that it likely would touch wood, um, then I have help within um, distance. But it's, I mean, it, it's not bad, that's the point. It's not bad now, but it's just I always worry that it could get really bad. I just hope that it stays manageable. Um, 
the Thinks underwear seems to be doing really well. Um, but like I said, I just I hope it stays manageable pain wise so I can go up to my cousin's tomorrow. It's a long journey, like it's an hour and a half drive, I think, uh, in a, on a good day, and there's still traffic, um, the roadworks going on. But like, if you're in the car for that amount of time and you start cramping, and I just I just remember that the day I had my driving test, I actually had my period, I got my period, and I was in a lot of pain. And um, just before I did the driving test, I took cocodamol, and then it was literally after I passed my driving test, the pain started kicking in again. And then it was the next day I started throwing up because I have a reaction to cocodamol now. Um, so that was fun. So I can't take cocodamol, I can only take neurofen or ibuprofen and paracetamol. But it's the only two things I can take for pain meds, nothing else works. And I can't take stronger than that. So, it kind of sucks. Um, I do have my natural kind of homeopathic remedies. The problem is to take the um, typical medicine, which is the neurofen and the paracetamol, I have to take, I have to drink obviously to take him, and you also have to eat for the, both of those. Actually, it's best to have some food in your stomach for. And you can't eat or drink for 15 minutes before you take the natural ones. So in an ideal world, what I'd do is I'd take the typical medicine, like the neurofen and stuff, and then I'd take the homeopathic ones to hopefully put the symptoms down as much as possible until the other stuff kicks in, like, full time. But I can't do that because I have to wait for the... Ugh, oh, it's just a long thing. Anyway, I'm really tired, and I'm just going to watch a few more things on YouTube, and um, I think I'm watching my Big Fat Gypsy Wedding at the moment, just something that's kind of not medical related you can't I can't watch anything medical or anything gross gruesome or like scary just something fun trashy whatever that takes my mind off the period pain um but yeah as of right now it's kicked in and it's fine but I want to take some paracetamol so that I can be sure I feel better going to sleep then I'm going to need to put um an overnight pad on I think tonight I'm not going to put a menstrual cup in I don't quite trust my things overnight just yet but um yeah that's what's going on right now so it's been like literally um five or ten minutes since I last bit of the camera. I've realised I've been an absolute idiot. Um, I'm going to try something new tonight. Um, basically, I just remembered, like, I went to the bathroom to change my pad. And the reason I get so nervous from my period is because of the nights. During the day, I am fine. Can cope absolutely fine. But at night, everything just seems scarier and just, like, I'm always worried about waking up in pain. And I just remembered a conversation we were having at dance the other day. Um, sorry, I'm here on the floor. I'm trying to get some light from my lamp here. A conversation we were having at dance the other day uh, in the hallway in our break and they were talking about periods and one of the girls was saying how she had actually set her alarm on her phone to wake her up in the middle of the night so she could change her pad because she was so heavy and she hated the feeling of wake up in the morning and I obviously was saying like how I like using menstrual cups because I don't have to do that and that kind of thing but I just realized why don't I do that for pain meds like why don't I set myself an alarm to wake up and take more pain meds so then I don't have to worry about waking up in agony because my body doesn't wake me up until I'm in a lot of pain um, which is good and bad it's it's good because I can sleep for long periods but it's bad because when I wake up it can be really really bad um, the problem with this night will be that I can't work out whether I need to wake up every two hours or if it's every four hours so I'm going to take the paracetamol at 11.30 or probably more like 11.45 actually because I don't want to overdose at all um, I use the Panadol. This is the one I discovered that works best for me. It's the Panadol. It seems to be better. It's advanced or something or other, but I don't know. I prefer taking it. And um, how much have I got left, actually? Ooh, not a lot. Let me just check this. Oh, wait, I'll be... Yeah, I should be okay. Um, I've got more Paris, more, but anyway, I'm going to take that. So I'm going to set my alarm, I think, for in four hours' time, so around 3.30 am and then wake up and take more payments because i've noticed it doesn't actually affect my energy levels in the day if i wake up multiple times a night that's fine even sleeping on low amounts of sleep doesn't affect me too badly um which is weird you'd think because i have sometimes got issues with energy levels that would affect me but no it doesn't and i can also fall back asleep usually quite easily so hopefully and i've been waking up naturally like in the middle of the night anyway for the last few nights so if I set my alarm for 3.30, might move, or actually might make it 3 hours, I might make it 2.30 instead. Or I think I decided that actually that would be too soon after I got to So anyway, I'm going to set my alarm tonight. I'm going to see how that works. So setting it for 3.30 to take um, more ibuprofen, and then what's 4 hours on from now? I think that's 7 something. So I don't think I need to set my alarm off that, but I'll set my alarm for once in the night tonight. 
and see if that makes a difference making myself wake up to take more pain medication um, if this solves my night issues then that could be it because that's the only thing I think now that's a problem during the day I'm usually fine but yeah I just also cut up some apple so I have some something nice and healthy to snack on um, and to keep stuff in my stomach so yeah we'll see how this goes try something new out never know so it's 5 20 a.m. and um, I actually woke up at 3 15 that's what I set my alarm for to take some Nurofen I think I must have fallen back asleep because I've now woken up again at 5.15 and I've gone and got myself some more to drink and I've taken two um, paracetamol. I'm going to stay up for a little bit just to maybe read or do something while I wait for the paracetamol to kick in. I'm not touch wood in pain um, right now and I haven't been in the night so I think it might have worked doing this wake up method. Um, I'm just, it, oh, I always feel a bit funny, you know, when I wake up in the night and I've got period pain. Even if it's very, very minor, my body just kind of goes, tensed up. And so if I just take some medicine, relax for about 10, 20 minutes, my body realizes, okay, it's in my system and I'm not in pain. I'm going to be fine. It just, it's one of those things. So that's what I'm doing now. It's about 11 in the morning now. And I took paracetamol kind of a while ago. And I don't know what it is, I feel like I can, I've been stuffing my face with Cheerios to try and like get food into my stomach because I've been taking, um, obviously paracetamol and all, oh, sorry about the lighting, hang on, paracetamol and Nurofen and all that kind of stuff all evening and all night, um, as I woke up, but, um, I feel like I can taste it in the back of my, like smell it in the back of my nose and it's horrible, I hate it, um, yeah, and it's kind of making me a bit nauseous, which is really hard because I'm trying to eat at the same time and drink. I think I'm going to open the door and get some fresh air and just kind of breathe that in. But, um, yeah, not nice. Don't feel too good at the moment. I kind of doubt I will be going to see my cousins today, which sort of sucks. Just because my sleep was so bad last night. Oh, I hate this. I've got to sort it out. <sighs> Obviously, homeopathic stuff. This particular um, remedy isn't working, so I'm gonna have to try another one as well. But yeah, that's currently what's going on. Sorry about the wind noise. I'm trying to block it off with my hands, but we've just come on a walk to the park, and it's really, really cold today. It's been snowing in some parts of the UK. But yeah, I'm here with my mum. Uh, she come to help me. I was going to paint my room, but no, I don't think that'll be happening today. about 20 past three um i officially decided not to go down to see my cousins unfortunately i just i just don't feel well enough and actually so i'm rocking a bit i just um had a bad wave of cramping i took pain meds about 40 minutes ago and it finally started to kick in um I, basically what happened is because i've been feeling so kind of nauseous I've been able to taste the medicine in the back of my throat if that makes sense you could taste paracetamol or whatever you've taken so I've been reluctant to take any more and that was what sparked this and then obviously as soon as I felt that sharp stabbing pain I immediately took two neurofen um so now they're in my system and they will kick in very soon but it just kind of sucks um the other reason I also decided not to go down to my cousins is one of my closest friends has just been attacked um not seriously but um sexually assaulted um so that obviously isn't fun for her so i thought i'd stay down here and see if she wants to meet up tomorrow and talk and stuff it's it's one of those things that kind of cruel irony i guess because i'd just been thinking that i hadn't known anyone closely who has been assaulted before um by a man and now I do and actually just yesterday actually I was walking to dancing and there's a dark road we have to go down and it's got literally no lights on it and it's really unsafe I think and you just don't feel good going down it and I was feeling really off kilter going down there and um I'm definitely going to be getting some um self-defense classes after um 
my friend with three, she has had them, luckily, um, but I haven't and I really think I should and I thought about that before I actually even moved in here. But yeah, it's just not nice to to see that and to hear about that, so yeah, just not been a great day today. <laughs> Pain, nausea, friends been attacked, all that kind of stuff, yeah, train interrupting my video. I will give you an update in a bit. But for the moment, just feeling kind of blur and just trying to cheer myself up. It's four o'clock now. The pain has, has pretty much stopped. Sorry, it's at a weird angle. I'm trying to lean this on my bed. The pain has pretty much stopped. Um, couple of twinges, that kind of thing, but I can cope with that. What is killing me right now is the nausea. And I'm, I'm sure, absolutely sure now, it must be the Nurofen that I'm reacting to because I tried rubbing um, the Nurofen ibuprofen gel on my stomach instead of taking an oral pill because I figured it was going into my stomach that was causing all the issues um, but it didn't work unfortunately it's just not strong enough so like I said before when I had that bad, bad bout of pain I had to take it but I've been really really good this month I haven't taken any medication without food um, but it's just not helping this nausea and in fact it's getting i'm kind of debating now whether to call my my mom over and get her to pick me up and take me to my parents house for this tonight because i don't know how i'm gonna be able to cook myself something to eat with this horrible nauseousness hanging over my head and oh i don't want to go because all my stuff's here as well so big debate and she's already been over most of the day but this nausea gosh I don't know what the heck it's causing it I don't know what I'm gonna do now because if I'm reacting to Nurofen I can't take a codomol anymore because that makes me nauseous and I like Nurofen's the only thing that gets me through my period now so I don't know what I'll take if that stops working oh just not a great day that's for sure just Stupid nausea. I'm gonna go and grab a Travella tablet and suck on that for a bit, see if that helps. I ended up giving in and calling my mom and um, just saying, hey, can you come and pick me up? And my dad's on his way now. So I guess I'm gonna go and stay at my parents' house tonight because they're having Chinese, so I could just eat some rice and some like simple stuff that won't upset my stomach. I'm just so, so annoyed about this nauseous thing. like. In some ways it's the worst, if that makes sense. This is what I had after my driving test as well, like this really bad nausea. And that was from the cocodamol. This is from ibuprofen. So I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Just have to... have to see. So I'm at my parents' house now. Um, I don't know what time it is. Let me grab my phone. Quite late in the evening. I'm missing around 7-ish. It's 8 o'clock. And... Um, I feel okay now. I'm planning to have a bath, I think, in a few minutes' time. And um, my mum's going to be watching X Factor next door, so I might join her for that. But yeah, I feel okay. I just had Chinese for dinner, which has improved my mood a lot. I had Sainaproxen. I'm pretty sure it is the like the ibuprofen and stuff that I'm now reacting to. So I'm going to have to uh, see about that. I have come to a decision in my mind, I'm going to explain this in a separate video, what, I, what I've decided to do, and um, yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, thank you so much for watching guys, please subscribe, and uh, thank you for joining me on this day, even though it was not a great period for me, I just hope that you enjoyed the vlog, but thank you for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you later, bye!